Hi everyone, I get a lot of questions about what type of tablet I use and since XP Pen have very kindly sent me the Artist 13.3 Pro tablet, I wanted to give my thoughts on it in comparison to the Wacom Cintiq 13 HD which I use at the moment. If you are looking to buy a tablet, XP Pen are currently having their 15 year anniversary sale and if you want an extra $10 off, you can enter the code KDSketch at checkout on their AliExpress site, which I'll leave the links to in the description. Now in the box, along with the usual manuals, there were different adapters for plugs, extra pen nibs, the tablet stand, pen and pen holder, cleaning cloth, a cable to connect it to your laptop or PC, and a drawing glove, which I've always had to buy separately. For me, price is so important when I'm trying or recommending something because I love finding new tech or new software that is accessible. Previously, I've found that unless you're looking at small, non-screen tablets, Wacom is so much more expensive. Back in 2015, I paid just over £600 for my Cintiq, while the Artis 13.3 Pro is priced around £300, which is a huge difference. Now, the size is very similar to my Cintiq, and there's only a couple of millimetres difference in the active area. However, the screen does seem to have a little bit more texture and feels much nicer to draw on. My Cintiq currently has a matte screen protector because I really don't like drawing on the glassy surface and adding that little bit of texture gives me a bit more control. Though I don't feel like I need to buy one for the Artist Pro, I probably will because I tend to press quite hard and don't want to scratch the screen over time. The biggest difference I've noticed has been the pen pressure, tilt and response time of the tablet. With the higher levels of pen pressure, I feel like I have more control when I'm drawing and I definitely don't seem to be pressing quite so hard, which is a lot easier on my wrist. If you use a lot of keyboard shortcuts like me, you can assign them to the express keys down the side to speed up your workflow. I found myself using the rolling wheel quite a lot to scrub through my animations. So my Cintiq has nine keys, two at the top, two at the bottom and then four around the rocker wheel with one in the middle that takes me to a menu. Now my Cintiq doesn't have a rolling wheel and before trying it out on the Artist Pro that wouldn't have been a feature that I wanted in a tablet but now that I've tried it out I know that if I ever get a larger tablet down the line I'll definitely be looking for that feature. When I first started out with Digital Art, I was recommended Wacom tablets for the build quality and how they were industry standard. Having never tried out XP Pen until a few months ago, that was a concern for me. But I can honestly say I can see no difference between the two. It's just as sturdy and well built as my Wacom Cintiq, and having tried out both a screen and non screen tablet, I'd happily purchase another model from XP Pen in the future. I think I've made it pretty obvious so far that I do prefer the Artist 13.3 Pro much more than my Wacom Cintiq, so if you're looking to get your first screen tablet at this size, then I definitely recommend this model. Thank you so much for watching, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more from me and let me know in the comments if you've got any questions. As always, I'll be back with another video real soon. Bye!